Located right inside of the city of Harrisonburg, Virginia, lies a 31-acre park that bears the name of one of the greatest basketball players in ACC history. Today is a place that honors one of their own, a place where kids come to play and where the game remains simple. But for ACC legend Ralph Sampson, it's here where he laid his foundation. You know, it, it all started here. We played probably every day, on the park, outdoor court, indoor court, wherever it may be. And back then, you played, if you, you, that was a game, you played. We used to laugh because he was clumsy. I mean, real clumsy. I didn't see it. Coach Berger was one kept saying, he's going to be great. He, he, we're going to have some work to do with him for his recruiting. Though. And I just used to laugh and think, oh, well, OK. But I really didn't pay attention. I called him Sticks. I called him Sticks. <laughs> and Sticks, <laughs> he was thin. And uh, <clears throat> sent him in. I threw him into the fire. You could just see as he, he kept just getting, each year just better and better and better. When did you realize that you were good enough to be able to play against this competition and maybe be able to play against better competition at some point? Well, like I said, um, you know, playing with the guys or whatever, and they wouldn't let me play with them, you know, when they first started. And then when you grow in three to four inches every year, I mean, you, you, you get a little coordinated, and then the next year you grow another three inches, like, can't walk into bubble them. And everybody would tease you because you can't swim, you can't play basketball. But then when everything starts to come together and you're dunking on people, then they say, oh, okay, well, now we understand it. But now, now you can't talk about me because if you talk about me back then, it just only motivated me. Ralph learned about the game of basketball in the playground. But it was on his family farm where he learned about the true meaning of hard work. We own special ground, very historical, um, good, 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 uh, Roots, good soil, means a lot to me to, 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 to be standing on this land every time I come. It's, I'm at peace, I'm at home, and uh, this is what Ralph Sam's is all about. This is how I grew up. This is the farm. This is the barn. Uh, it's, it needs some repair, but it's got very historical value, so we kind of leave it like it is. Yeah, we're going to give them everything here. We used to be, as you see, there's some hay bales still up there, not, not a whole lot, but We'd be packed to the, to the ceiling, and we would come up these, these, uh, this ladder here. You know, they still exist uh, even today, and uh, climb up there and, and, and swing from the swing, swing from the ropes, and go from one side to the next. Had a very, very good time up here on the farm. And then we shot a few in here every now and then. Obviously, it's not, it's not the right height, but it's a little rickety these, these days. But uh, we shot a few here every now and then. Um, you know, they haven't been used in a long, long time. You got to get your hands dirty, and I was able to do that here to understand, you know, how to build fences, how to dig a ditch, how to raise crops from a garden, how to you know, pull weeds, how to get down on your knees and get dirty. And if you're not willing to do that, you can't dress up and be in a suit either. Uh, you gotta use your mind and body to experience some of my work ethic came from here. It was that same work ethic that Ralph learned on the farm that would turn him into the nation's number one high school player. He would also be arguably the most heavily recruited college and professional basketball prospect of his generation. I think I'm going with Virginia next, summer, next semester. Ralph chose the University of Virginia over the NBA and would spend the next four years dominating every facet of the game. Field goal percentage, his scoring average, his rebounding, his shot blocking, all were at the very highest level. Such a tough guy to play against, so long and so imposing. You know, it was just a, a you know one of the probably the top five players that this conference has seen in its history. Particularly to the University of Virginia and the ACC. I mean, he certainly was one of the dominant players of his era. When I reflect back at University of Virginia, like I said, when you go somewhere, you leave your footprint. If it's your shoe size, if it's writing your name on the wall, or, or meeting somebody and you change their life, you leave your footprint somehow on what, what you do. Ralph would appear on the cover of Sports Illustrated six times, win three National Player of the Year awards, and led Virginia to the 1981 NIT Championship. There was none better. Nobody played it better. Uh, the, only, the only missing 
link on his resume and his team's resume was that we didn't win a, an Atlantic Coast Conference tournament, nor did we win the uh, NCAA tournament. Now, when you look back on that and the fact that you went to Final Four, but you never won a NCAA championship, does that bother you? Does that pick at you? Or do you understand that your mission was accomplished regardless of whether you won a championship or not? I just know that when I walked off the court and I finally retired, that I've done the best I could do. And, and I think when people understand that whatever you've done, the best you could do, that's why I'm motivated today as well. Every day I try to do the best I, be the best I can be. And, you know, I look back and have no regrets from, from a basketball standpoint whatsoever. Despite having so much success on the basketball court, Ralph has now found his true calling in life, helping educate and influence kids through his Winter Circle Foundation. This is the uh, first annual uh, Winter Circle Foundation uh, Golf Celebrity Golf Classic. So everybody out having a good time. So uh, raising money for kids and ad academic education and crime prevention. I'm back at home. So it's going to be fun and we're going to have a good time. You know, Ralph's doing a good thing. He's always been very instrumental in the community. He stays focused and he's, he's hardworking and he's not changed at all. So I am really proud of him because he has been wanting to do this for a very, very long time. He will go down as one of the greatest players in college basketball history, but Ralph would rather be remembered for what he accomplishes off the court. Somebody told me a story the other day, said that, 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 that somebody came into this place after school program and said, what's the most impactful thing at second home? He said, I got to meet this tall guy named Ralph Sampson that helped me with my homework. This is literally you no know, 12-year-old kid. So that, that's mean, that means more to me than, than, than trophies in basketball because now that 12-year-old kid will have a lasting impression about me as a person and not just a basketball player.